University of Minnesota, Noah Bush. Returning to Atlanta, the Georgia Tech campus, men's 100 freestyle. The AT&T Winter Nationals B final, but a very good swimmer. Number one of the names Rowdy mentioned up top, Maxine Rooney. He was the last man out of the A final. See he'll start in lane four here. Won the 200 free as well. This be his third final that he's made. Yeah, and this is where you learn. You, you learn from the prelims because if you don't get the job done in the morning, you're not going to be there at night, obviously. And this is where it's very important that, she, that he learns from that prelim swim. Take your walk. Gain some experience on, on the strategy. And, he, you know, he just missed making the point. 43.76 with 8.42.97. Lieutenant only two tenths of a second. And this is not life or death here, but when you get to the NCAA championships, like he will in March, believe me, Coach Greg Choi is going to want him to be in the apron. Oliver Petrucci, Indiana swimmer, with the lead at 50. Last turn. Jordan Merrilee's in lane two at the bottom has been a very strong finisher here in other freestyle events. Let's see, that's Rooney and Petrush. They're coming right to the wall. And the touch is gonna go to Rooney, got there at the end. 43-71, and he got that rowdy in the last few yards. You've gotta resist the temptation to start spinning your wheels at the end. You still wanna grab that water, Maintain the focus, and, and you can get carried away the last few yards of a sprint. And you can see Rooney certainly didn't do that, kept his composure the last five yards, kept it long, kept it strong. Don't panic. Do what got you there, and he did there at the very end. Look how close that was. All the way to the touch. Could have gone either way. But Rooney won it. And Oliver Petrush, who got touched out there, swam a personal best. And Ryan McCoy from St. Louis University wound up taking third. <laughs> 